Hi guys, it's Kathleen. So this nail polish that I'm starting off with, it is Wet n Wild Burgundy Frost. And so what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to do a chevron on my nail like, like so. And I'm just going to add one coat and I'm going to do it on my index finger and on my pinky. And so while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to move on to my middle fingers my ring finger and my middle finger and I'm gonna use Love and Beauty Champagne and it's just a gold really nice glitter and I'm just gonna apply one coat all over my nails I don't really want to apply two coats because this nail polish is pretty thick and it you know it, it looks it just looks good with one coat once my chevrons are dry I'm gonna go over with that champagne color and I'm gonna do like a second layer and I'm gonna leave a little of the burgundy so you can see that it's there and then I'm just gonna add the champagne to the very tip and so it's like a double chevron and it looks perfect just like that so right here you can just add your top coat and be finished with this design it looks amazing this is perfect for like Christmas fall New Year's just looks great like that but I'm gonna go and add a little simple design so I'm gonna take a squared tip brush and I'm gonna apply half in the pink and half in the white acrylic paint and I'm gonna reapply a lot of times because I want to get my brush loaded for me to do my one stroke flower petals so this is how I do it all I do is I pick which color I want to be on top and which color I want to be like in the center of the petal and then I just wiggle my brush back and forth to make that petal shape and that's it isn't that easy? I love one stroke flowers because they're really simple. And if you're beginning, you know, if you're beginning to practice, this is how I practice was just doing it like on the side of my nail, you know, just three petals, you know, but then I went on and, you know, started practicing like the five petal flowers and it just becomes really easy to do. So once the acrylic paint is dried I'm gonna go in with black acrylic paint and a really thin brush and I have thinned out the paint so that it's easier to work with and it doesn't go on so thick and then I'm just gonna do like little stems I'm not gonna completely outline all the petals because I just didn't want to <laughs> and so I'm just doing this oh come on you can't see it okay there you go so um yeah and then after that, I'm just going to add dots in the center so that it can bring the flower more to life. So with just a simple dotting tool, you can just add little dots any size that you want. And, you know, here I figured I should have used like a burgundy acrylic paint, you know, to kind of tie it in. But I guess the black looks okay. But now I feel like they look like little caterpillars. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> So here are my nails. I love them. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And again, you know, you didn't have to go ahead and finish the whole design. You could have just stopped right there where I, you know, where I said and it would have looked just fine like that. But I went the extra step and did my little caterpillars. <laughs> Oh gosh. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.